So if I consider like a positive core and then a cloud of electrons around and I apply a field, let's say a field in form of a capacitor and the field is that I am having positive plate here and negative charges on this plate then I will see that the field is directed in this direction this is the electric field now what will happen that the positive core will be repelled by this these positive charges so what will happen that it will uh, slightly shift towards the right the positive core will shift slightly toward the right while the electronic core which is here it will slightly shift towards the positive means the negative is repelling it the positive is restricting it so the negative core will also slightly shift and this shift is basically uh, this this is the polarization induced in this dipole and that's why we uh, use the terminology of induced dipole now what is happening here that this is this builds in internal electric field which is in the opposite direction to the applied electric field and it is basically resisting the entry of the external field this means if it's uh, this is the concept of an atom which will occur with this one now if instead of atom we are having a molecule there so a molecule is uh, for example we are having a uh, molecule or a compound then inside the compound different species positive charge on one and negative charge on the other so what will happen to that compound basically or a molecule it will means this dis, uh, displacement or the polarization will, will enter there then the it will cause either a stretching in this molecule or a rotation which is the torque in this molecule it will be induced in that one and that's why this this electric field is basically stored there in that material and we will find out that uh, how the electrical energy is stored in that material so if we say that polarization are the dipole moment if I uh, write the represent with a small p the dipole moment and this will be proportional to the electric field it's a vector quantity it's proportional to the electric field more the electric field more will be the dipole moment so the dipole will basically align itself along the direction of electric field so this is this p is equal then to a constant in the electric field and this constant depends on the nature of material it is an intrinsic property of the material not a geometrical property and this I write is alpha alpha and E and this alpha I call is atomic polarizability so the atomic polarizability of different material is different and the, the table 4.1 is listing basically the elements in their atomic polarizabilities. It is in units of, uh, means the magnitude is very very small because uh, it is uh, 10 to the power minus 30 and it will be in uh, meter cube we will have in units of meter cube 
and uh, in example one we will derive basically that what this alpha can be uh, uh, for a rough idea this atomic polarizability alpha we will uh, derive in example 4.1 so let's uh, let's start with uh, example 4.1 that what the example is saying this is example uh, 4.1 now let me uh, read the statement of this example 4.1 4.1 says a primitive model for an atom consists of a point nucleus plus Q charge surrounded by a uniformly charged spherical cloud minus Q of radius A. Calculate the atomic polarizability of such an atom. So we are having an atom where at the center we are having a positive core with a plus Q charge and a negative cloud of electrons with a minus Q charge which is at a distance of A means the radius here. So we are having plus Q at the center and then minus Q is at a distance. This is center and this minus Q the electrons the electron cloud it is at a distance a being radius of this atom so we have to uh, find the atomic polarizability now um, when there is no electric field it's a stable atom when E is equal to zero but when E will be not equal to zero and let's say is in this direction then what will happen that the positive core which will be uh, this is a situation when e is not equal to zero and in this direction then what will happen that this positive core will slightly shift this way because here as i have shown here this will slightly shift this way and the negative core will slightly shift this way. So let's say it is uh, center is here and now it is here. So from the center it has been displaced by a distance D. And we are going to find out the atomic polarizability in such a situation. We know that the field at a distance d from the center of a uniformly charged sphere is basically equal uh, in problem in problem 2.12 we solved uh, this geometry that the field at a distance d from the center of a uniformly charged sphere is basically equal to e which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and Q D over A Q. So dimensionally it is fine because Q or R square is the electric field. Here D is the distance R, the length and A cube, so A square. So it is dimensionally fine. Now when it will be the equilibrium because we are not considering that situation in which it is going to displace but when it will displace and under the external electric field it will come into equilibrium then the displacement d we have written here and i can uh, write that in that situation when here we are having a dipole and the charge is uh, q here then p the dipole moment is basically the charge time the distance which means it will go from the equilibrium position means from the stable position 
two in equilibrium position but distorted one under the electric field and if their distance is d then q times d is the dipole moment the polarization induced in that material so i can write that this p equal q d for this i can replace that this is basically implies that p which is equal to q d so it will become 4 pi epsilon naught a cube times e 4 pi epsilon naught and a cube times e so p is equal to that thing or i can write means just uh, comparing it with this one here is p and here is e so it means the atomic polarizability alpha is basically equal to 4 pi epsilon naught alpha is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught and a cube so that's why i was uh, saying that it will be uh, measured in uh, meter cube here because here we are having uh, the third power of the distance here i can write this one 4 by epsilon not a cube if i write it 4 by 3 pi a cube 4 by 3 by a cube then I will have to multiply this with 3 here so 3 3 will cancel pi this and epsilon naught will come with this one now I know that this term which is here 4 by 3 pi a cube is basically the volume of this sphere that we are having this is basically the stable volume or the volume when there is no electric field so i can write that alpha is equal to 3 epsilon naught times the volume of the sphere so this is one of the representation here that um, 3 epsilon naught V the atomic polarizability will come out like this volume means meter cube although there will be the unit of epsilon naught as well we will have to keep that in mind now the atomic polarizability we have uh, found and when we come to the instead of atoms when we come to the molecule then what will happen to the molecule is for example if i consider uh, a co2 co2 molecule means oxygen here and then the carbon here which is comparatively bigger than oxygen and then another oxygen here now in this situation when we have this is OCO we are having CO2 molecule now in this situation it will depend means how this will distort how this will stretch or this will rotate it will depend on the direction of the field in which direction the field is applied if the field is applied in this direction then it will behave differently compared to the field if it is applied in this direction so it means for a molecule it is uh, critical to observe in which direction the field is applied or how the molecule is getting this field so for any slanted field we will have uh, two components of this field like we will have the x component and the y component of this field so we can we can uh, from here is start from here so it will be here and then this one so 
this will be means I can write that the polarization the polarizing the dipole moment P will be equal to alpha the perpendicular direction and then the electric field is this is the electric field so it is resolved in parallel and perpendicular direction so we have this is the perpendicular and alpha parallel in E parallel components so it will be uh, resolved into components and like this but when uh, means even the subcomponents of this are important because a molecule is a complex system uh, molecule or compound it's a complex system so if, um, if I resolve this P into its components so P will be the PX in X unit vector plus PY in Y unit vector and PZ in Z unit vector so we will have uh, instead of uh, only P we can have a this means the component form and it will basically make a, a tensor which we call the polarization tensor or the polarizability tensor and this is uh, this will be like we have for PX then the PX is equal to alpha x x and e x plus alpha plus alpha x y and e y with it plus alpha x z and e z component of the electric field with this by looking to the symmetry we can write the other components like p y will be alpha y x in e x plus alpha y y and e y plus alpha y and z here and e z components similarly the p z will be equal to alpha z x and e x component plus the alpha z y and e y and alpha z z and e z component so we are basically having the alpha the atomic polarizability this is now getting the other dimensions mean the all directions will contribute and those individual uh, components will sum up to give the total P and this is equal to alpha and here let me write I J where I and J are running X Y and Z so it can be X X X Y X Z and then y x y y and y z and so on so we uh, for a molecule it will be determined the atomic polarizability tensor we will have to determine because in one direction some components will be contributing while some will not in the other direction the other components will be contributing so in some situation it will be causing the stretching in this system somewhere it will cause the distortion or the rotation so it depends on the direction of electric field and we will have the a different situation uh, here in a molecule